Hello Quant Warriors, welcome to day 83 of 100 days of algo trading with Python. Today, we're gonna learn about multi-asset portfolio management system. We have already completed the four projects from this book and this project is based on the concepts from the chapter 5 of the book Practical Python for Effective Algorithmic Trading. So, in the world of algorithmic trading, your portfolio isn't just a collection of stocks, it's a living, breathing ecosystem of your financial potential. This multi-asset portfolio management system transforms raw data into actionable intelligence. Using Python's powerful data structure to decode market's complexity and transform your investment strategies from guesswork into mathematical precision. By combining dictionaries, tuples, sets and lists, we'll build a tool that not only tracks your investment, but reveals hidden opportunities that most traders not able to see. And before diving in, hold on for a second. I have a feel like algorithmic trading is this massive secret club you are not just invited to. If you are a complete beginner and that feeling resonates, then this is for you. My book, Practical Python for Effective Algorithmic Trading. Learn from the most costly mistakes so you don't repeat them and grasp the hard facts that will fundamentally shift your perspective. If you want the ebook, you can download it from the school community, of course, with a discount. And if you want the hard print, you can order from Amazon. I would like to invite you to join our thriving school community, the Cognitive Elite, where we discuss everything, we share insights, we uh, help each other, and we even host weekly live meetings in which we sold all the carries uh, from the subscribers and from the uh, group members, right? So it's really helpful and you will be able to help each other in the community. So without a further ado, let's get started with today's uh, project. This is completely full-fledged web application. You can use for your uh, demonstration or your projects, or you can even extend it uh, to your needs, right? So it is like I already uh, pushed this into the GitHub repository. You will find uh, all the links in the community. I just post about everything, right? And you will find all the required files for you. Okay, so without a further ado, let me first quickly explain the flowchart of this application. This is a, a complete web application. And then we will move to the code in which I will just give you a quick overview. And then I will give you a live demonstration of the web application, right? Which you can uh, download in your uh, local repo and you can even test it, right? And I have even deployed this on the replit so you can use from there. Actually, uh, I built this application with the use of like let's say the cloud and the replit it makes our process very fast right the because with the help of these tools the development process is very faster and very efficient and very error free right it takes a very less time to build these applications so i highly recommend you to please uh, try to use these applications and you will see that uh, it makes a lot of difference right okay so let's dive into the flowchart of this application so we have the tool multi assets portfolio management system right so we have the web application here and if you need we can even build the mobile application it can be android or ios also but for now this is a web application and it's very very powerful and you will see in just a couple of minutes that how this works so first of all uh, what will happen that a uh, user enters to the website let's say we have the web application so users log into the website so we can say this is the user entry point right then then what happens so the user will see the dashboard home page right so this is the home page let's say I, I just draw it here so this is the home page In this home page, uh, we have mainly four sections, we can say. So the first is uh, portfolio summary. So I'll just write short the portfolio summary. Right. Then we have the performance chart. Then we also have the asset allocation. And we have the recent securities. Securities means the stocks or the if you are 
in crypto than the coins you have added. So, in the portfolio summary, you can see the total value. You can see the total, uh, like let's say PNL, the gain and loss. You can see the asset class count, how many assets are there, and then you can see the uh, securities count. That how many stocks or how many coins or how many currencies you have there, right? So it can be used for all the markets. It can be used for crypto. It can be used for forex. It can be even used for the traditional stock index, right? We just need to modify as per our needs. And if you want to use in the production, then you have to make sure that uh, you consult with the experts because these are just for you know. Uh, demo purpose and you cannot use these applications in the production it needs a lot of you know uh, securities uh, it needs uh, a lot of like you know the vulnerability uh, remediation things we need to work on all those uh, aspects then in the performance chart you can see the views so you can even see for 30 days you can even see for 90 days you can see for six months and even for a uh, one year right so these are customizable we can increase and decrease as per our needs but we can do that and in the asset allocation, we can see the interactive donor charts, right? And these also, we can add anything what we want and we can remove whatever we want. But this is a basic uh, overview. And in the recent securities, you will see a quick summary table like that, which securities were recently added, right? This was the, this is the home page of the application. Then we have another page, which is uh, portfolio management. in this also we have mainly four sections the first is you can see all the securities right uh, view all securities then you have to you can add any security here let's say you want to add uh, let's say bitcoin that you can be purchased or any other currency you can add here then you can even edit the security like let's say you already added and you want to edit more assets in your portfolio you can add here right then you can even delete securities and you can update the prices here. These are the section of portfolio. Inside we have like multiple things in the security. We can, you can like uh, enter the ticker name class. You can enter the purchase price uh, of like you even have the optional data like the sector, country, notes, right? And you can uh, save to database. So if you want to connect this with database, you have to like uh, we have to add. That's the next thing. And then in edit, you can update and save changes. And in delete, you can delete. That's like obvious. And in the update prices, you can even uh, enter the bulk prices, right? If you want. So that's the uh, thing of the portfolio management. Then we have the portfolio analysis. In this, you have uh, again four options. The first is risk analysis. The second is performance analysis. The third is diversification analysis. And the fourth is recommendations. Right. So in the portfolio analysis, you have the uh, portfolio risk score. You have the risk level regulation. And you even have the risk breakdown by asset class. And in the performance analysis, you have the top performers and the bottom performers. And when it comes to the diversification analysis, you have the sector allocation bar chart here, right? And in the recommendation, you will be having the tips like how to uh, manage the risk and how to diversify your uh, portfolio. And in the next page, we have the report generation. In the reports, you can like you can have the portfolio reports. And you can you can have the charts and visualizations here, charts and visualizations, and you have again the top and bottom performers, right? So you can you can like print the reports here, and then the last but not the least and very important database management. So this is the back end, but here you can like store the DB models here. Then you have the portfolio calculators and then historical tracking and we have the data APIs, right? So like from where you are getting the data. This is the basic thing of this application. And then I'll just give you a quick uh, code overview and then the live demonstration.
So once you have a good idea, you can uh, clone this repository in your local and you can run this and you can use this. It's completely available freely, right? Okay, so here on the screen, you can see that we have the Bay 83 multi SH portfolio management system. Here, if you can see, we have this big uh, like repository of the files. So I'll just give you the basic the required things only here. So if you can see here, we have one the Python file app.py. Then we have one file main.py, right? And then again, this is the models.py and this is the portfolio manager. So these are the files which are mainly handling the uh, functionality of the uh, application, right? Then in the static, we have all these CSS and JavaScript uh, codes here, right? So you can see here the charts and portfolio and the custom.css. Then in template, we have all the HTML things like how to beautify your web application. So all the beautification happens here. So let's say if you don't have uh, the HTML, still the application will work, but it will be very messy and you will not be able to navigate in the application. So it is required. But if you are like your beginner, then you can just start with uh, the basic and then you can proceed. So as I already mentioned that these applications are now built by the AIs, but you need to know the real concepts that what you need exactly. You need to give the good prompts, right? What exactly to give that you will get a proper application. So, and then, then also after the, uh, you get the application, you need to have all the security management because ultimately, if you are building the app for your own, then you have to use in production, right? So when, if you are using in production, then you need to make sure that the application is completely uh, bug free and it is not, you know, nobody should be able to compromise this uh, application. And also you need to remove all the vulnerabilities, right? And you need to deploy this on the any web server in a very secure environment. So that's how, but you will get a very good uh, idea when you use this application. So nowadays I use uh, the Cloud uh, Replit and these are absolutely awesome applications, right? So try to use because it will help you a lot in your upcoming journey. Then what you need to do. So before you start, you can just read this read new file. So here I explained everything what is happening here and what are the functionalities in like in a very detailed way. Then when you clone this file, actually I have already mentioned everything what you need to do in this readme file. But uh, let me again show you that when you are in this directory, right, I, I am in this uh, day 83. So we just go here and you have to run the main.py file. So Python 3, because I have not set the environment. Hopefully someday I will do that main.py and if you have installed like this the python so you can run just python uh, space main.py so once you hit enter it will give you this page so let's say so you can see here this application is running on the port 5001 5001 and these are the your localhost url address so you can pick anyone any one of them these both uh, Right to the same page. Okay, so if you can see on the screen, we have the full fledged web application, right? So this is the home page where you have the portfolio value, the total gain and loss, the asset class, and the, 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 the summary of your portfolio, right? Then here, the portfolio, you can add your for security here. And then this is the page where if you like, if you click here, it will redirect to this page, the add security. So here you can add in detailed way, uh, how you want. In the star, you, it is mandatory, right? And then this is analysis and this is the reports, right? So let's do one thing that will add the security. So let's say I bought the BTC, the ticker symbol, Bitcoin, when the asset class is uh, cryptocurrency. You can see here, we have all the asset class here, right? Like, and you can even add or remove uh, in the HTML file, right? Then sector is crypto and the purchase price. Uh, one fun fact that when I bought the Bitcoin, it was around six to $700 for sure when I bought the first Bitcoin. So I'll write it $600. Then the current price is, it's, you know, in the sky, 
80,000. If I would have the, you know, the diamond hands to hold this until uh, this day, then, you know, the story would have been very different. And the quantity is 12. Yeah, it was 12. And the purchase date is, it was somewhere around, I guess, if you can check the price in that, I, I think it will be same, uh, what I am mentioning. So it was somewhere around 2016. And a month was somewhere around, I guess, July or August. I'm not sure when I was in the Piara Bharat. And yeah, so I'll add the security. And you can see here that uh, we have added. This is the purchase price and this is the total portfolio value. So current it would have been. Oh, oh it's, it's, it's huge. I just went into the coma state. Okay, so let's add another asset. So let's say it is Ethereum and Ethereum and it is also crypto. Crypto and sector, it's also crypto. Purchase price, it is around 10. And current price, I guess, is around 2.5. Not sure. Quantity is 100, let's say. And date is also, it, it goes back to 2016 on itself. When I did get into the uh, crypto somewhere around this and India, USD, notes you can add its option. Okay, this is what we have and the portfolio would have been uh, great. Okay, anyways, so when you go back to the dashboard, you will see the, your portfolios the securities added recently and then if you want you can analyze here you can even generate reports here and like it's very customizable and you can see that how powerful this application is right so if you have a little bit knowledge of the uh, the thing you are doing let's say the algorithm trading then uh, and then also if you have used the ai applications so if you if not then you try to use every day and by combining your domain knowledge uh, with the new technologies, you will develop a lot of things and it will be, you know, a very, very plus point for you in your career. So, yeah, you can try this application uh, live or deploy on your local machine. And if you have any problem, you can come and discuss with me live every Saturday in our school community. It's free. You can join and we will discuss whatever the issues you are facing. And also, you can just let me know what things you need to cover in our live meetings, right? So, yeah. And also, if you uh, need the basic details of the algorithm trading, the Python, then you should definitely read the book Practical Python for Effective Algorithmic Trading. It will really help you to build your foundation very strong. So, this was it for this video. I will see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye. Take care. Have an awesome day.